In the heart of Cairo, and nearby the bust of Mahatma Gandhi, uh, I'm speaking at the outset to uh, congratulate uh, the Indian people uh, with the Republican Day very close to us. A day that India and the world are celebrating the principles that India inspired and brought to the world. Inspiration, I guess, is an Indian word. We are close to Mahatma Gandhi, where the whole uh, world community has been inspired by his uh, values. Uh, he belongs to us all. And in the heart of Cairo, it's not only the bust of Mahatma Gandhi that remains with us as memory of this great nation, but since the inception of history, India inspired the world. And nothing really more inspiring uh, than uh, the democracy, uh, a principle that all nations worldwide try to adhere itself to. Capitalism, democratic capitalism. Communism, democratic communism. But the true democracy that India brought to the world stage is so important. And it is also with inspiration. An inspiration uh, to first world about tolerance, about talking to each other, about reconciling our views, reconciling our religions, reconciling our ethnicity. I think India does not only inspire us through the principles of Mahatma Gandhi, but it inspired us through its uh, uh, principles of democracy. It is a true democracy that we have been all lived with, uh, admired, and look at as one of the continuous uh, aspiration to the world community, particularly in this very important time uh, of world affairs, uh, where uh, unilateralism, rivalism, conflicts uh, are prevailing everywhere. It is through reconciliation, internal uh, peace and security, uh, and pacification of international relations, multilateralism. So no other place than India that can bring you uh, with those principles. I think the, uh, uh, since the inception of history, India has inspired uh, the world. A civilization that encompasses many differences and it overcomes it. And India through the colonial era has inspired many uh, of us in the third world. And India today does not really keep its principles within border, does not keep its knowledge within its border. So India democracy, it's not an internal issue. Indian democracy, it's a, 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 a sort of an inspiration to the whole world community. As I said, in a very difficult moment where we all need, we need the principles of Mahatma Gandhi to prevail. We need the Indian democracy, the true democracy, uh, not those kind of democracies that everybody is talking about. It's a democracy that allows a country that contains many ethnicities, many religions, many people to live in harmony. And this is an inspiration to us in Egypt as well. We look with respect to India uh, uh, democracy. We look at uh, the history of India as part of the success story of the third world history. And this is what is uh, the qualification of civilization. Civilizations makes people talk to each other. The civilized India is talking about the religions that can really reconcile itself, about ethnicity that can talk to each other. And this harmony brought India to where it belongs today. Uh, I think one of the most vibrant economy, democracy helped uh, many of our people in India to move further out of poverty and to become maybe one of the most admirable experiences uh, in history of mankind. I congratulate India once again. I congratulate the Indian people and Indian relation uh, leadership. And I assure that here in Egypt, in the heart uh, of Cairo, remain India very much into the hearts of all Egyptians. Thank you very much.